now at six, a family left heartbroken after their loved one and his dog are both killed in a house fire in San Pablo. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. I'm Vicki Liviakis. I'm Ken Wayne. That fire happened Friday afternoon. Crown Force Rob Nesbitt talked to the victim's father about how his son will be remembered. He was very smart. He was very very icon for everybody. He was very friendly. He made friends everywhere. Edgardo Cabrera is holding on tight to the memories of his son, Armando Cabrera, and this picture of Armando with his dog and best friend Seymour. The 30-year-old and his dog were both killed Friday afternoon when their San Pablo home caught on fire. Cabrera described the moment when he got the news of his son's passing. I told him, well, let's head out to the hospital. Uh, and then I got a call from the hospital midway going to Kaiser in Richmond. And they said my son passed away. Edgardo lived at the home on Dover Ave with his wife, Armando, and two other sons. He returned Monday to gather their belongings, but very little was spared by the flames. The home was destroyed. Everything was just charcoal. I just, just went out this uh, morning to try to see what I can find. Um, there's hardly anything left. He says the family can search for new things and a new home, but what can't be replaced is his son. A GoFundMe has been set up to help the family with funeral costs, getting an estimate of around $10,000. Kill the expenses paid off, and, and that's important for the thing. I just want him to go to, you know, to rest in peace. According to the Contra Costa County Fire Department, the exact cause of death and cause of the fire are both under investigation. Family members holding on to memories while they wait for answers. He's very friendly. He was very friendly. He was... He liked to joke around a lot. He was, I want to miss him a lot. I want to miss him a lot. In San Pablo, Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.